the G family who come from Ireland. Yes, Australia. Where, where are you all from? Well, there's plenty of energy here and there's plenty of joy and we gather with the G family and tell us, uh, you're over here for the World Meeting of Families. How's it going? Great. It's fantastic. Today is the only day that's starting to get cold. Okay, to be fair, today is the first day that we have the World Meeting of Families, but you've been here for a few days. We've been here since Saturday. We had three days in Hong Kong and then we've been here since Saturday and we couldn't get into the hotel till three o'clock. Oh, it's a killer. Yeah. We've been here since Saturday and it's been warm, yeah. pleasant, beautiful Guinness. <laughs> we, were sent, we were sent by our diocese at Broken Bay. Hello, Broken Bay. And our bishop's just <laughs> gone to Melbourne and it's Pope Francis's fault that he's not here on the trip. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, so, listen, as we gather together here, as we gather together here this afternoon, we're talking about World Meeting of Families. We're talking about families celebrating faith. Tell me, uh, what does it mean for yourselves to be kind of a Catholic family today? What's, what's that involved in this life from all the chaos and everything? To have to be open to life and to have as many children. We've got six or seven. One one passed away. Um, but just you know, um, I guess that's evangelization for us. Yeah, because it's not it's not very common to have lots of children, and so that's uh, that's that's one of the challenges. To to we've been out and prayed for life, where unfortunately some people find it too much and they terminate life and. Um, not only standing up for life, but bringing the children to the best things you can find so that, that, that the faith flows through their veins like blood flows through the body. Okay, and that really leads on to my next question because in part of, um, part of this World Meeting of Families, part of what Pope Francis is speaking about, is how as families can we pass on the faith to, to the children, how we can pass on faith throughout the generations. So what's worked for yourselves? Well, we, we like to do adoration. So we enjoy that, and I think that's very important. Um, I think throughout life there's a lot of challenges, and uh, you know you fall off the wagon um, from time to time. But we've been, we've been taking our children to catechesis as a good shepherd, which is the um, missionaries at charity, the nuns from Calcutta, um, their preferred method of evangelization, which is basically the Montessori method of passing on the faith with the hands on, and you go into the prepared atrium, and it's to teach the children that Jesus is the Good Shepherd and to fall in love with him so much that they never want to leave him. And I believe you have it in Ireland, in we Limerick, yeah, with the uh, Nashville Dominican Sisters. Okay. And uh, for yourselves, how are you finding Ireland, aside from slightly cold, but it is summer in Ireland. Uh, how's been the experience in Ireland been so far? What have you, what have you loved? fun the people in Ireland are so nice they like stop in the middle of the road just for you to cross and the Irish stew is so good and just the yeah the whole experience that's fantastic anybody else want to do you want to add anything Millicent all the churches are very beautiful here they are beautiful the churches are very beautiful really great yeah, we're in a drought and, and in Australia it's like a dust bowl so pray for our farmers they've got to yeah, get, get rid of their serious. animals and and it's a serious situation for a lot of Catholics. So a lot of Catholics wouldn't have been able to afford to come to this uh, meeting because it's a long way away. So we're probably only, we've probably got the biggest contingent of six children from Australia. Well, listen, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. And thanks very much for spending some time with us to, to share some of your experience with the World Meeting Families. And we wish you just to have a, a blessed and fantastic time for the, for the rest of the celebration. So you're going to be here with us until when? We're away from Australia for nine weeks, so okay. we're going off on pilgrimage after this too, and ending in Rome for the canonization of Paul VI in Fantastic. this is fiftieth year of him on Vita. Cool. And are you looking forward to seeing Pope Francis on uh, on Sunday? Yeah, yep. yes. we are. We are. We're very excited. It's going to be amazing. Listen, guys, thank you so much. And again, just another family joining us for the World Meeting of Families, and just from what I can see, organized chaos, but full of love and joy. So back to you in the studio. Okay.